Five types of women to avoid. Okay, number one, we're gonna go with the hot and cold girl. Okay, these women are basically really interested in you at one point in time, and then other times, you don't hear from them, it feels like they're ghosting you. These women are usually a waste of time in the fact that they are only going to be continuing to do this with you. Usually what happens with this woman is she's really interested in you, then another guy starts messaging her, and then she's like, okay, I'm gonna talk to this guy, and then when that guy goes away, oh, now she's right back in town and she's talking to you. Okay, clearly you're not her first choice, and if you're okay with that, that's fine. Uh, but what you have to understand is when a woman is giving you mixed signals, mixed signals is the message. Sometimes she wants you, sometimes she doesn't want you. And if you're looking for that, that's great, but if you want something more consistent, I highly recommend that you find a woman who's gonna give you more consistent interest. In my experience, yes, you can win these women over. You can use really good game or invite them to a cool event or something like that to make it work. It can happen, but you shouldn't be breaking your back for them and you shouldn't, above all, not be putting them as your number one priority because you are not theirs. Number two, this is the no effort girl. Okay, this girl is giving you one word answers, she's barely interested, but she gives you just enough that you think that you have a chance with her. This is someone who will keep you going for a long time and maybe she's very attractive or you're really entranced by some aspect of her personality or whatever it is, probably a little bit of hope in there too, and it's keeping you going for a long time. Okay, this woman is probably never going to change, right? Yeah, maybe there might be something cool that you can do to you know, pique her interest or get her more interested for just a little bit, but but the truth is, she's just gonna be continuing to put in no effort. You shouldn't be trying to rationalize why this person doesn't like you and trying to get them to like you. You should be trying to figure out, hey, is this person a good fit for me and my life? And if someone's putting in no effort towards you, well, that's a sign that they probably shouldn't be there. Now, I know when I say this, guys are gonna think, well, she didn't text me back one time, or this happened. This, this should be shown consistently over a long period of time, okay? At the beginning, if you're the one who's pursuing her, you should make more of an effort than her at the beginning, but if it's continuing and it's never, ever changing, well, that's something that you should look at and you should probably find someone who will put in some effort. Number three is the pen pal. Okay, this is the girl who is texting you a lot. She enjoys talking with you, but every time you try and make plans with her, silence. And then she hits you up later wondering, hey, how you're doing? Or maybe you text her and she's like super happy to talk to you, but she is never down to meet up. I don't know about you, but I have enough people to text in my life. Texting is fun, but only if I'm actually going to see that person in person at some point in time in the future. So if that's not gonna be this person, I'd rather text someone who is going to meet up with me. This is something that I see with my clients a lot where they kinda of get into the habit of just texting a person a lot. If you feel like you're with a pen pal, try asking them out, try making plans. If you're not doing it in the right way, that can you know also affect your chances as well too, so you should probably watch some of my other videos uh, to see how to do it properly. But if this person, you tried maybe two times to meet up with this person and she's flaked on you both times or she's kinda of giving you silence or she hasn't said anything, uh, you should probably find someone who is going to meet up with you. Maybe a third time if she's saying, hey, you know, I, I couldn't make it this time, but you know, I'd really like to you know, meet at this point in time if she's making an effort. Okay, yeah, you should probably give her a third chance, but for me, it's usually two strikes and you're out. Number four is the free meal girl. Okay, this person will go out with you. This person will text you back, but guess what? She's not trying to date you. She's just trying to eat for free. She's just trying to be taken out. She's just trying to be treated. You know, these kinds of women are usually going to say something like, hey, maybe you recommend this place for you to go. And she's like, oh, no, no, why don't we go here? Because that's the place that she wants to go to. And guess what? She doesn't want to pay for it. She wants you to pay for it. Right? Usually this place is going to be more expensive than the place that you chose, uh, or maybe it's just something that's kind of out of the way or inconvenient for you, but it's more convenient for her. This person is not trying to date you. She's trying to do fun things and she's trying to get other people to pay for them. All right, if you do find yourself with this person, don't let her just get what she wants. Try and negotiate, try and make it more so it's a, a little bit more convenient for you as well too. When it comes to dating, when it comes to relationships, there has to be a little bit of, um, you know, there has to be a little bit of compromise between both parties. If she's not willing to compromise and she just only does what she wants to do, that's not a recipe for attraction, not a recipe for a dating or a relationship because she's not looking for that. She's just looking to go to that place and she doesn't want to pay for it. Number five, this is the fifth and final one and probably the most insidious. This is the tease, okay? This is a woman who is texting you back. 
you know, she might hug you. She might want to come in and cuddle with you. I had a woman who did exactly all of these things with me while I had a girlfriend, mind you. She was coming in and being very handsy. She was like saying things like, oh, I miss you, blah, 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 all the time. This person had no intention of hooking up with me. She just wanted some guy, or maybe she did, I don't, I don't know. Um, she just wanted guys around her that were going to do things for her. Usually when women get older, they figure out that they can use their sexuality, they can, feel, they can use interest in another person or uh, feign attraction for someone to get what, they're, what they want. And what this woman is doing is she's using exactly that. Usually this person suffers from a lot of insecurities. She usually has a lot of guys around her, maybe not so many women because she does this to all the guys that they're dating so women don't like them. And because of this, if you're around this person, you're falling for her trap. You're continuously again and again. And the reason why I would say this woman is probably the worst out of all of them is because she can waste your time the most and make you look like the biggest fool. So the way that you know if this person is actually doing this is see if she's gonna actually come to you. See if she's gonna follow your lead. And sometimes they will do this for a while, but they will not stick around because ultimately they are trying to get what they want and they are withholding what you want. So if that's the case, basically you have to recognize it, cut your losses and move on. It's okay, we've all been there. Don't make a big deal about it. Don't get angry at her, don't yell. She's gotta figure this out for herself that treating people this way is not okay, but you shouldn't be the one that has to put up with it to teach her that lesson. So if you find this person, you know, Stay away from her. Don't answer her text messages. You, you got to just cut this person out of your life. And I don't mean you do it super cold. I don't mean you just say, hey, listen, you got you, you to gotta get away from me. Although at some point, like there, there have been times where, you know, I've recommended a client actually do that. But for the most part, I would just stop answering their text messages. Must, don't, don't, you don't need to hang out nearby them. And if they confront you and ask you about it, then you're honest with them. Not in a mean way, but in a loving way, saying, hey, you know, like, this is how I feel when I'm around you, and, you know, um, I, this, this is not the kind of relationship that I'm looking for with somebody, or, or a friendship, or whatever it is. Anyway, those are the five types of women you guys to avoid. There are plenty of amazing women out there, so don't think that I'm just ragging on women all the time. I'm probably gonna come out with another video. So, with the red flags video, I came up with the green flags video uh, of women that you should try and date. Uh, there are plenty of amazing women out there, but if a woman is doing these kinds of things to you, my recommendation would be to find a better one for yourself. Cool? Well, thanks for watching, you guys. If you made it to the end, consider subscribing. I come out with videos like this every single week. If you're interested in getting coached by me or want access to my free trainings, there are links in the description box below. I only have limited spots, but um, with the free trainings, I have uh, as many spots as you guys want. Cool? Good luck out there.